What's up guys, this is Tom Dupuy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add rich snippets to your WordPress site. Rich snippets are basically this extra information that appears in search engines, and it really helps you stand out and get more clicks and traffic to your website. You can do this with a variety of different pages and posts. You can do it with product pages, recipes, reviews, events, and software applications. And if you come to this page and just Google rich snippets, you can actually click on these links and see what they will look like. So this is a rich snippet for events, and you can see the event dates, a link to that page, and some good information. So to add these to WordPress, you can do it one of two ways. You can go with a free plugin or a premium plugin. The free plugin that I, that I recommend is all-in-one schema.org rich snippets, which has pretty good reviews. The premium plugin is WP Rich Snippets. And guys, I did include timestamps in this video. So if you want to jump to certain sections, you can just click those links. Figure I might as well tell you that now. Um, also, if you do purchase this WP Rich Snippets plugin, I get a commission off of it. I do affiliate marketing and basically make money off writing tutorial videos. I'd rather tell you that than be all secretive about it. Um, but I do use the WP Rich Snippets plugin. Um, you can find a link to that in the YouTube video description. And it gives me unlimited site licenses, support, updates, and a bunch of different features. So the main difference between the free and premium plugin is how the content is presented on the page. So say you're writing a review of SiteGround's hosting. Um, this box right here is needed for Google to crawl and show your rich snippets. So this is how the free plugin will look like and this is how the premium plugin WP Rich Snippets will look like. I can include a photo, a video, a slideshow and the styling like the font and font colors adapt to what I currently have so there's no need to change it. Um, but it just looks a lot nicer and has a ton of different features. You get premium support a lot of good things come with the premium plugin. So regardless of which one you choose, you're going to want to go to add plugins, or I'll start with all-in-one schema, since that's free and everyone likes free. So go ahead and search for it, install and activate it, and once you do that, then you're going to want to configure the settings. So go here and just click settings. So if you expand this box, you can customize the text. So this is the text that shows up right here, like reviewer, review date, all that good stuff. Um, you can customize the colors. It's very limited, like I said, but it does the job for a lot of people. And it gives you some basic instructions and FAQs. So it's actually very easy to do this. Um, go to a page or post you want to add rich snippets to, and just remember that it has to be one of these types of pages. So I'm going to go ahead and add the, edit the post. You know, fill in your post title. Obviously, you're going to put your content here. And then when you scroll down, you are going to see this configure rich snippet option right here. So this is how you're going to start. You're going to expand this box and click which type of rich snippet it is. For this it would be item review and based on which rich snippet you select it's going to ask for some information. So here's the reviewer's name, the item to be reviewed, and I give it a five star rating. So I'm simply going to go ahead and update the page. And now we can grab this link. And you can see how it looks on the page. But what you're going to want to do to test to make sure it's going to work is go to Google Structured Data Testing Tool. So it will take a few days for Google to update the results and show your rich snippets, but this tool will tell you if it's configured properly. So go ahead and paste the URL and click Fetch and Validate. 
And you're going to want to look on the right side for these all good, um, the all good. If you see red, a lot of times it just means you need to add um, the required fields, but you can expand this to see what you need to do if you have red. But this looks like it's all good, so give it a few days and Google will show my rich snippets. So it really is that easy. All you have to do, like I said, is install the plugin, configure the settings, add markup to whatever pages you want to add rich snippets to, and then test those pages in Google's structured data testing tool. So it's a similar process for WP rich snippets. Um, once you purchase your plan, you're going to go ahead and check out and uh, WP rich snippets is going to send you an email with a download link. You're going to down that, download that plugin to your computer. And what you're going to want to do is go to plugins, add new. And then click this option right here. So we'll just go ahead and upload the plugin and install and activate it. I already have a, the plugin installed, but you're going to want to do that. The next thing you want to do is go to this Rich Snippets tab right here and click License. Once you do that, go to WP Rich Snippets. Go to this Account tab. Click View Licenses on the right. And then under WP Rich Snippets, you're going to want to click this key option. It's going to show you a license key, and all you're going to need to do is copy it and paste it right here. And then click Activate License Key. And that will give you automatic plugin updates and support. Once you do that, go back to the Rich Snippets tab and click Settings. So you're just going to want to go through here and make sure everything is configured properly. Everything can be left as is for the most part. I would just make sure that um, custom post types, you have posts and pages selected because this is where you will, this will add the rich snippets option to those. Go ahead and click save. And then you can just go through these different ones. But under display, I also like to make sure the button color is the one you want, and then unlink images for better SEO. So once you've configured the settings, then you go back and edit a page or post you want to add rich snippets to, and the similar process can be done. Um, it's just a matter of scrolling down and looking at your options. So if you scroll down and get to the schema section, you're going to want to select which type of rich snippet it is. So this would be a review one. Give it a rating um, right here. Siteground hosting, a little description. You can see these fields are required, so make sure anytime you see that you fill it out. Go to author and fill in your name. If you want to put some criteria, like SiteGround, um, you know, I gave it five stars because, because it has good speed. I'll give it 100%. Give it, it also has good uptime, 100%. So that's where you put your criteria. <clears throat> the link tab lets you link to the website that you're reviewing. Or if your rich snippet involves a link at all, this is where you do it. But the display tab is also super helpful. So this is where you can incorporate a video or a slideshow, or you can use an image and give it even give it an alt tag for better SEO. So that is for reviews. But if you're doing something like events, you're also going to want to go through the hours and address. Um, pricing information can be used for like product pages, but just based on your um, type of rich snippet, just fill out all the applicable information. So once you do that, then go ahead and update the page, and just like we did with the free plugin, we're going to want to copy that link and go into Google's structured data testing tool and click fetch and validate. 
So here we see is all, it's all good. So give it a few days and Google will show that in their search results. I will go over a common, um, some common solutions if you have some red. So first of all, go into your support form. So you can see this has support right here. And it has some FAQs and screenshots and instructions. So all this can be super helpful for WP Rich Snippets. They actually have a lot of documentation. So I went over a lot of things they have, but you can see you know, how to install it, the plugin settings, right in your first review, and a lot of good stuff here. You can also view some live demos. So this link will show you what you know, adding a video looks like, what uh, different types of rich snippets can look like. And the last thing I want to go over is if you Google rich snippet FAQs, Google actually has an FAQ page on their website about rich snippets. So basically, um, the main thing you want to do is go through your structured data testing tool and if it's not all good, you just want to expand it and look at the red things and make sure that those fields are filled out. You also want to make sure that uh, you have content on the page, obviously, and try adding rich snippets to more than just one page. So Google likes to see multiple pages with rich snippets. But they have a lot of good information here. So if you're still stuck, you can leave me a comment in this YouTube video description or in the comment section on my blog post. Uh, but otherwise, good luck to you, and I hope you found this video helpful.